Hello! In today's lesson we are looking at angle measures in polygons. Our objectives are to be able to find the interior and exterior angles of polygons. Before I give you the theorem about how to find the interior angles of a polygon, let me first start by explaining how the formula came about. In this page we have a pentagon, which is a five-sided figure. In order to find the interior angles of the polygon, which is these angles over here. First what I want to do is break up this pentagon into triangles because triangles are the foundation of all shapes. So when I go from one vertex to the next, this is what I end up. So I'm using the same vertex to go to the next vertex for each one of these and you'll notice that I have a total of three triangles. I know that the interior angles of each triangle is 180 degrees. Since I'm trying to find the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon, all I need to do is add up all of these 180 degrees or take 180 degrees and multiply it by 3. And I find that the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. Notice that the 3 is too less than the number of sides of this polygon, which in this case, since it's a pentagon, it's 5 and 2 less of 5 is 3. So basically, to find the interior angles of any polygon, what you need to do is find the number of sides of the polygon, subtract it by 2, and then multiply it by 180. Which leads us to the formula that is in theorem 11.1, .1, the polygon interior angle theorem. In this theorem, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n-gon, where n stands for the number of sides of the polygon, is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So going back to the previous example that I was talking about where we had the pentagon, we know that the pentagon has five sides. So what I would do is I would take 5 minus 2 and multiply that by 180 degrees. We know that 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 degrees gives us 540 degrees, which goes with the example that we just saw. This formula over here, which is n minus 2 times 180, that gives us the total number of degrees in the polygon. If I want to find just the measure of one angle, what I would do is I would take the total number, which is 540, and divide it by the total number of sides. So corollary to theorem 11.1, .1, if you want to find the measure of each interior angle of a regular n-gon, all you do is take 1 divided by the total number of sides, which is n, times n minus 2 times 180, or another way you can say this is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So going back to our pentagon, we know that a pentagon has five sides. So it would be 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by the total number of sides, which is 5. We know 5 minus 2 is 3 times 180 degrees divided by 5. That is 540 degrees divided by 5. So the measure of each angle in a pentagon is 108 degrees. Example number one, finding the measures of interior angles of polygons. In this example, we are to find the value of x in the diagram. Well, this diagram is a pentagon. I know it's a pentagon because it has five sides. Before I can find the value of x, I need to know the total measure of the interior angles of the polygon. To find this, I am going to take 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. I know 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 degrees gives me 540 degrees. So the sum of all of the angles in this pentagon is 540 degrees. From here, I know that all of these angles add up to 540 degrees, so I'm going to set that equal to 540 degrees. Simplify all of my constants. So 120 plus 90 plus 151 plus 56 is 417 plus x is equal to 540. Subtract 417 from both sides and 540 minus 417 is 123. The measure of the fifth interior angle of the pentagon is 123 degrees. Next we come to the exterior angles theorem. In the exterior angles theorem, 
all of the angles that are on the outside of a polygon add up to 360 degrees. The reason why it adds up to 360 degrees is if you were to put it together and you'll notice that all of these angles match with these angles in this pentagon, they all end up fitting inside a circle and we know that the total degree measure of a circle is 360 degrees. This is why the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon add up to 360 degrees. Theorem 11.2, Polygon Exterior Angles Theorem. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, one angle at each vertex, is 360 degrees. Corollary to Theorem 11.2, the measure of each exterior angle of a regular n-gon, which is just one of these angle measures, is found by using the formula 1 over n, where n represents the number of sides of the polygon, times 360, or you could write it as 360 degrees divided by n. Example 2, finding the measure of exterior angles of a polygon. In example A, we are to find the value for x. I know that the exterior angles of any polygon is always going to equal 360 degrees because they end up making a circle when you put all of the exterior angles together. So I'm going to set the sum of all of the exterior angles equal to 360. I'm going to simplify the left hand side by combining all of my like terms. x plus 2x is 3x, 3x plus 2x is 5x. 90 plus 30 to minus 12 gives me 110 degrees. So 5x plus 110 degrees is equal to 360. Subtract 110 from both sides to get 5x is equal to 250. Divide by 5x on both sides to get that x is 50 degrees. Part B, this is a regular polygon. The reason why it's a regular polygon is because all sides and all angles are congruent, which means that the exterior angle of this polygon is all congruent as well. So to find the measure of the exterior angle of this polygon, what I'm going to do is divide one by the total number of sides in this polygon, which is six, and multiply that by 360. So 1 times 360 is 360. 360 divided by 6 is 60 degrees. Each of the exterior angles of this polygon is 60 degrees. Example number 3, finding angle measures of a polygon. The rug shown at the right contains a hexagonal design. Four of the angles in the hexagon have a measure of 150 degrees. The other two angles are congruent. What is the measure of each angle? To start, we're going to draw a sketch. The diagram shows a sketch of the design. The design is a non-regular hexagon where angle B, angle C, angle E, and angle F each measure 150 degrees. And angle A is congruent to angle D. Since this is a hexagon, we know that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. The way I found this is by taking the total number of sides, which is 6, subtracting it from 2, and multiplying that by 180 degrees. You get 4 times 180 degrees. The total sum of the interior angles of the polygon is 720 degrees. Next, we write a verbal model. The sum of measures of the interior angle of this non-regular hexagon is equal to 4 times the measure of each obtuse angle. And the reason why it's 4 is because we have 4 angles in that hexagon that have the same measure, which is 150, plus 2 times the measure of angle A and angle D. We know that angle A and angle D are congruent, so their measures will have to be the same. That's why we have the number 2 over here. Let's label what our values are from our verbal model. The sum of the measures of the interior angles is 720 degrees. The measure of each obtuse angle is 150 degrees. The measure of angle A and angle D is equal to x. Now, using our verbal model, let's write an equation. We know that 720, which is the sum of the measures of the interior angles, is equal to 4 times 150 plus 2 times x. Simplify, 720 is equal to 4 times 150, which is 600, plus 2x. Subtract 600 from both sides to get 120 is equal to 2x. Divide each side by 2, and we get x equals to 60. So the measure of each of the two congruent angles is 60 degrees. 
All right, checkpoint problems number one and two are yours. For each of these problems, find the value of x. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.